Doctors have been on the front lines of the pandemic while also trying to keep their families at home safe. And two critical care doctors at Riley Hospital have family here in Indy and thousands of miles away to think about. Tonight, we recognize National Doctors Day with a look at an interesting journey of a pair of Riley physicians who are now proud to call Indiana home. They will COVID will vaccine. These two doctors share more than a native tongue. They both felt the same calling years ago to care for the sickest of kids. They are in the ICU, very sick and about to die, and then see them walk around, you know, getting their back, uh, their life again, seeing their family and how much they are happy about the progress. It's something that energize me every day, you know, to come back to, to work. Working with children and their family is a privilege. I think I'm honored to be part of this. I think we make a lot of kids and a lot of family happy and getting back healthier and getting back out of here. Both are immigrants. Dr. Riyad Lufi immigrated to the U.S. from Syria. Dr. Samer Abu Sultane from Jordan. They grew up just a little more than an hour apart from each other, but met nearly 2,000 miles away when they began working at Riley Hospital for Children. Nearly a decade later, they work side by side within Riley's intensive care unit. Both have made Indiana their home, but their hearts weigh heavy with family so far away. Uh, majority of my, my family is still in Syria. I was lucky enough to get my parents here as you guys may know uh, an uprise political um, uh, issue started in Syria in 2011, uh, turned to uh, unfortunate civil war. So I was able to get my parents here in 2015. So they live really close to me, but uh, the vast majority of our family is still back home in Damascus. Both doctors use their skills to address health care disparities overseas, especially in the Middle East, through Riley International Heart Missions. We're lucky to treat many uh, refugee kids. So, uh, a lot of them are from Syria. Through the program, doctors Lutfi and Abu Sultane typically take two 10-day trips a year, performing up to 15 complex surgeries each time. I always want to be part of of the improvement of health care in general in Syria and especially for pediatric patients. Um, that was my passion. Coming after uh, here to get my training, to get more tools and skills uh, so I can help, uh, you know, uh, here and back in Jordan was something that, you know, you know it was the, the right decision. While it is personally rewarding to help families back home, those trips have provided throughout the years eye-opening experiences for these doctors and lessons that they bring back to Indiana. I also take a lot from the care we provide in Middle East. Um, a lot of time kids get better without us doing more. So sometimes I try to have the balance uh, what I learn from back home to uh, to make it here with the appreciation of all the, the support and the technology we have here uh, in the U.S. to support our children. And another life experience these doctors have shared, they both recently became United States citizens. I'm, I'm really grateful. Uh, the first word, I think I'm grateful for all the journey to be able to get here 16 years to get uh, citizenship. Uh, um, it's full of, of hard work. Uh, it was emotional. Indiana is home, even not somewhere else in the, in the States. Midwest has always been the, you know, the area for me. It's a family uh, oriented area, you know, very nice. And uh, even, you know, here, a relationship with with our friends here, or my colleagues, it's more of a family, even, you know, so I can't see myself going somewhere else. And Dr. Lutfi got his citizenship last November, and Dr. Abu Sultane got his just last month. They are both dads and are looking forward to going back on Riley International Heart Missions once it is safe again to travel. And on this National Physicians Day, we here at WRTV thank all of our frontline workers for all of their sacrifices and hard work throughout this year.